So, if you're new to this channel, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, where I'm going. Um, but to give you a ground note, I'm actually doing a, a video series just now called The Story of Us, where I'm, I'm trying to take us f from the ideas of you know, the start of civilization to where we are now and to where we're going and stuff like that. So I've just started that. But in between then, I'm making videos like, like this. Why? Because I've always been fascinated since I was young uh, where we came from, where the where we made, where we are just now, where we're going, stuff like that. And and from a very young age, I've 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 always questioned things. I've questioned religion. I've questioned the government. I've questioned just about everything because something doesn't sit right. And I'm concerned about you know what do we pass down to our kids. Uh, our way of life is it the way we're meant to be living you know there's so many unexplained mysteries in this world that we're just that people saying is nonsense but it doesn't fathom out you know so I, I always listen to people with an open mind and less be you know because if you don't if you don't question things then you're just a slave to the environment that you're in that's my own personal opinion okay not everyone's out there for your best interest. Um, so I question things. So um, and I also I don't believe, you know, um, when I listen to people, I wait until I hear something that uh, so you know when I hear something from some somebody else, I keep that in mind until I find something else from somebody else or something else that sort of connects to that and then once it's connected uh, I really log that in because it's not just a coincidence that this person or this fact is saying something as, as long as that one is you know both of these are connecting they're all telling the same story you know I'll give you a for instance there was a film called The Fire in the Sky the guy gets abducted by aliens and it's based on the Travis Walton story uh, not Travis Walton Travis somebody and if it's on you um, fire in the sky. Look it up. But uh, Travis was his name, anyway. And um, and then and then when he gets abducted, he, he sees the 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 craze, which is normally kind of used as the the grey alien, you know, the triangle face and the black eyes. And they're commonly seen throughout the world. Right, everybody draws the craze. And so, but this guy in Africa, he gets interviewed. Uh, Greedo, his name is he's, he's dead now. He's dead now. He just died just before this virus happened, and uh, he talks about the craze and that it's a suit the same way as it's depicted on the film. Granted, uh, Travis, the guy who the film was based on, said, you know, they they didn't fully do what his experience was, but you can check that out yourself. And I, for me, that has stayed with me longer because that has been in two different, you know, two different people from two different ways that kind of, you know, connected. So I've been hearing stuff about the technology that's happening today um, and how uh, a lot of people in the, the so-called conspiracy theorists, which I always call just theories because people have researched this stuff, you know, and they're saying that, you know, the new threat to the world is, is the techno, technocrats or techno-terrorists and stuff like that. It's, it's people getting addicted to technology and how one day in the future we'll all be plugged into it and A1 or AI uh, will be, you know, you've seen films, you know, you've seen films where they just put on the game thing and... Uh, or they've plugged themselves into the computer and then they get lost and you know there's a uh, stuff like your Google Dot and stuff like that that um, you know you talk to and you start thinking it's human and everything else so it goes it, it goes down that line and and people Big Brothers watching and everything else uh, and then and, and there's a lot of people that foreseen this right foreseen all these things and. You know, for seeing this virus, and that's because they can, because all the investigations that they've done for the last twenty years, 
all of them are, are drawn conclusions and what their plan is and where it's going and how to get there, you know, get rid of money, so it'll all be digital again online. So you hear all this stuff, right? You hear about China and everything else, about under the big brothers, watchful eye and you know and the, 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 it's online, it's on YouTube, check out China and, and their computer sort of world and how they live and Big Brother's always watching them and stuff like that. It's, it's there for you to find out yourself. So I'm listening to that and so then I, I watched this programme, uh, it's called uh, Phenomenon and I'd previously watched things like Out of the Blue done by Peter Coyote and narrates, narrates it and acknowledgement and so this one Phenomenon seems to be like um, the up-to-date version of these two programmes. It's like, um, you know, here we are now, we're going to update the information. Uh, so I'd suggest watching those three programmes, or even Travis, uh, the story. Um, so I'm, I'm watching that, and I've seen the, f the, the video footage of the UFOs and everything else, but it's the end bit that gets it, the end bit, where I believe they go to Africa or something like that, or... Austria or something. It's not important. You see school kids video years and years ago and they talk about uh, their experience of actually seeing UFO and not just the UFO but the people that were on the ship a bit like the craze and they sort of communicate to the children about um, you know how we're, we're going down the wrong path and that they're worried and that the fact that um, you know the technology we're getting hooked on this technology stuff so it goes forward in time to the present to when they're adults like us and they tell us you know they didn't want to say anything they've been silenced quite like so many other people out there that have stayed quiet and now that they're adults have gone back and then the old head teacher who feels guilty she's admitted now that that is exactly what she's seen and what she witnessed. That these aliens and 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 as adults, they same the exact same thing. Now here's the thing. You know, people are telling you things that they have witnessed and they have seen as children. That were, you know, and as as their children, they, they've seen this, and as adults, they've kept it and they know what's right and what's wrong. They were old enough to know what's fake and what's not. And when do we start disbelieving people around the planet? You know, people that don't obtain any wealth through lying. And the only thing they, they, they obtain is people either sniggering at them or calling them bad or that's not what they went. When do we stop doing that? Especially when people start passing lie detector tests. Now that was the connection. The techno things that the theorists have been saying about technology and about the aliens. And then, of course, we get we get videos of aliens, but uh, spotted around army bases, and actually, there's a video footage of one such alien spacecraft hitting uh, hitting uh, a rocket, an armed rocket, uh, warhead or whatever, and shooting it up, shooting it out of the sky, and they've been filmed around sites of. Uh, you know, army army sites where there are weapons or so-called mass destruction. So it's like they're taking care. They're making sure we don't make the mistakes into the world. So, and as I say, on other videos I'll get into other things about how maybe we were here thanks to them and maybe we are somehow related to these things. So, but that is also in my other videos. I just had to make this because it's with all the documentaries I have watched, all the conspiracy theories that I've watched, that is one of the one thing that that, that is connected into how people are saying not just about this virus being the the start of the rich getting richer and uh, and getting rid of money and get and staying at home 
where you get more and more hooked on uh, diversions by computers, by staying at home and uh, going on your phone and going on the computer and, and somewhere it is. Uh, and then we have these kids from 20 years ago and de hands these visitors that somehow telepathically tell them that technology is is bad and everything else and they're, they're worried about the future and I'm, I'm thinking wow <laughs> I just watched that earlier today and now I'm, I'm listening to this other documentary that says that so what would I learn from today well speaking to somebody that came off of Facebook and then finding out that no matter even though I've, I've left Facebook that <laughs> when I turn on a computer I see stuff that I've looked at in the past uh, and uh, they, they, they do keep track of you and they give you stuff in order for you to be addictive and there's programs and documentaries about that when do we stop closing our eyes and ears to the possibilities that our life and everything else around us may not be what we think it is so my advice to you to anybody who ever watching this to my family and to uh, to who else is, is keep an open mind keep your own mind and question everything thanks very much for watching <laughs>